Am I the asshole for getting mad because my girlfriend let her brother stay in our apartment without permission? Without permit. Okay. Well, we'll see. Let's see what happens. I, right, 23 male and my girlfriend, 21 female, been dating for two years. Do the math. 21 and 19. Not bad. Not so bad. Age gap. <laughs> <laughs> you're the you're the TikToker that everybody is straw manning about on Twitter. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, because this is actually... Oh, wait. Uh, this is actually... This is... A, our relationship <laughs> yeah no legit yeah I know, yeah that's why i said age gap just to be that, that an asshole i'm yeah. sorry but okay continue okay i started dating her because i was attracted to her intelligence she always gave me good advice in work and personal matters she's very successful career-wise and doesn't let anyone walk over her but i've been questioning this impression of her lately i moved in with her six months after we started dating red flag her brother then 16 was already living with her at the time as their parents passed away yeah, you're an asshole. <laughs> to be honest, it was uncomfortable living with a third person because I couldn't spend quality time with my girlfriend. And I, I couldn't <laughs> fuck the shit out of my girlfriend because her fucking, fucking teen are brother. <laughs> wow, okay. I spent quality time with my girlfriend and I could tell her brother didn't like me. I put up with it because he was still a kid and I felt bad for their situation. Last month, the brother turned 18. Although my girlfriend's name is on the contract, I help pay the bills and do chores around the house. That means I should have a say. But the brother was never, I'm joking, that wasn't in the thing. Um, but the brother was never has never contributed financially. He is 18. It's not like he can't. He worked part-time jobs since he was 15, but my girlfriend refuses to let him pay to stay with us because he needs money for his college fund. College isn't real. <laughs> that, was, that would be funny if that's what it was. I was fine with this until he became an adult. Now, he should have to do his part, and I told him as such. He said he would do more chores and run errands instead of paying because he doesn't have money, despite having two part-time jobs. So I went to my girlfriend about it. She said that if I felt the split wasn't fair, she would pay two-thirds of the rent on behalf of her brother, and I could pay the rest. I started to get angry about this wonderful what? deal my girlfriend gave me. <laughs> what? I started to get angry then and told her that it's not right for her to be letting an adult man leech off of us. Not an it's her brother. What the fuck? You fucking weird. The uh, if you were you're not getting married to this this lady, I'm sorry. Sorry to break it to you. <laughs> you're not you're gonna not be living with her right anymore. anymore. Soon, yeah. I made it very clear that the brother shouldn't be living with us now that he's no longer a minor. He has been constantly leeching off my girlfriend by letting her pay for his tuition fees, college applications, etc., while giving nothing in return. When both of them started ignoring me, I packed up the brother's stuff and told him to leave. Oh, you should burn in hell. My girlfriend went totally nuts. She threw a hissy fit. <laughs> oh, shit, no. Dude, you did not write you that. You did not just say that, dude. You oh have my the audacity. God, the fucking balls. Whoa. She threw a hissy fit and said that I was overstepping my boundaries. She went on this spiel about how her family is her top priority, even though I'm the one who supported her for the last couple of years. No, you haven't. You've been a leech. She can pay two thirds of the rent and you can't. You fucker! She wanted to spiel about how her family is her top priority, even though I'm the one who supported her for the last couple of years, and how I had no right to bully an 18-year-old. When I tried to explain how she's being a pushover for letting her brother walk all over her, she screamed to get out and never come back. The only time when screaming is okay. Yeah, uh, I, yeah. I was obviously shocked at being kicked out of my own home, so I refused, and she threatened me with the police. Awesome. I grabbed my stuff and went, and now and I'm now waiting for her to get over it so I can return. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love the fact that neither of us read this one before. Hell yeah. Yeah, actually. it was fun. It was awesome. I've had to stay on a friend's couch for the last few days because my girlfriend of two years cares about doing everything for another man, completely ignoring how she overstepped my boundaries by allowing... Not another man. It's her fucking brother. She's you. not fucking her brother, dude. That's not what's going on. Oh my it's God. her brother, dude. She overstepped my boundaries by allowing the an outsider in our she has place. Left. Am I the asshole for getting upset? Yeah. Yeah, you yes. know who you are. Edit. I want to make it clear that I didn't immediately try to throw out the blow the brother when he turned 18. I spoke to both of them multiple times explaining the situation, but was ignored. Tried talking about it for half a month before doing this as a last resort. She offered, Half a month? She... 15 days? That's immediately. 
That's immediately. Yo, you said so half a funny. month. That's fifteen days. Yo, and she even tried to compromise, being like, "I'll pay for two thirds of it." Dude, what a what a wonderful woman. You just ru- you just you just lost a gem, dog. Yeah. Edit two. After some consideration, I've decided that finding my own place and living arrangements will be for the better. Clearly, my girlfriend refuses to place any responsibility on her brother, so he'll be there for who knows how long. I'll wait for her to unblock me and get in contact to have a serious discussion about our relationship. This has to be <laughs> fake. This has to be fake. And hopefully we'll both apologize for this losing our cool. This guy can't be that dense. And move on. <laughs> if not, there are plenty of fish in the sea. That's... You, uh, obviously she just broke up with you, you fucking idiot. Am I the asshole for singing at my friend's wedding? I want you to guess what song it is. Because uh, I do know the song at the end of jug, it. Jug Jug. Ch- Chug Jug? Yeah. Oh. We got a number one victory royale. <laughs> yeah, Fortnite. We bad to nah, get it was, down. Uh, get it's down. Creeper All, man. It's a. Uh, I wish it was that. It's not. Dude. You have to guess the song by the end of the comments. Do, okay. Uh, by the end of the comments? By the end of the, the post. Um, fuck. Um, Mr. <laughs> Brightside. Don't start now. I got to read uh, okay. the post. All right. Sorry. Okay. Mole on it secretly. Okay. All right. Okay. Am I the asshole for singing at my friend's wedding? I, 24 female, was a bridesmaid in my friend's 25 female's wedding last week. The wedding itself was all right, but it was the reception itself that I was excited for. I had planned on surprising my friend with a song dedicated to her and her new life. I had been singing since I was seven, have been in choirs, performed, etc. My friend has always said that she loved hearing me sing, so I thought it would be a nice treat for her. She already knew that I was going to be making a speech at the reception, so this was all planned and not some last minute dish. After the maid of honor and the best man gave their speeches, it was my turn. I got up to the mic, quickly made some small talk, thanking everyone for coming, telling the bride and groom how beautiful this whole thing was, and I was grateful for the next chapter in her life. I then said that I could say a lot more, but I would rather sing it. Oh, oh no. I then sig- signaled for the DJ to hit it. I sang my song. My life's a movie. <laughs> sang my song. And after I was done, made a toast and went back to my seat. Not too long after that, my friend slash the bride came up to me and pulled me aside. She was really angry with me and had said that my singing had embarrassed her and had even said that it ruined her wedding. Wow, really? She also what the called fuck me. Could you have sung? She also called me. This is a big hint. She also called me an attention seeking whore. Whoa. Because of my performance. I was upset and also angry because I felt like I had just put an effort planning the song for her and just the way she was talking to me was also upsetting. I told her she was acting like a bridezilla. She had a shitty attitude about a performance that I put on for her. There were no backup dancers, no theatrics, nothing crazy, just me and some music that definitely lasted under five minutes. Another clue. What the fuck could it have been? I left the reception early because I was fed up. It's been a week since and I still have not talked to my friend. I know that she's still upset about her fight and maybe she was just stressed out with the whole wedding and making (laughs) sure everything was okay. But I still don't feel like that is an excuse to talk to me the way she did after I put my heart and soul into a performance for her. So am I the asshole? Was it like wet ass pussy or something? (laughs) That would be amazing. No. Uh, And I am a trained singer and have been singing for a long time. So no, this wasn't just shitty Why are you singing the song? Why? What? They didn't put it in the post? No, but they put it in the comments. What the fuck did you sing? I write sins, not tragedies. Panic at the disco. What? That's the one where he goes and (laughs) he doesn't know that the groom's bride is a whore. Am I the asshole for kicking out my daughter after she went behind my back? Yeah, probably. Yeah. I can't sleep and this is the reason. I, 39 male, kicked my daughter, 16 female, out of my house after she disobeyed my rules. Just a quick backstory. Me and my daughter never really had a good relationship. She often kept secrets from me when she was a kid. And I gotta know all her little kid secrets. Yeah. Um, I would only see her twice a month and we fought like cats and dogs. And she often lied to not only me, but her mother in middle school. Wow. Lying. (laughs) Crazy. That's crazy. I wouldn't be able to handle it. A lying child? Yeah. God forbid. God forbid. A year ago, I got custody over her and her little brother. She had wonderful grades throughout the year and she was given the opportunity to be in an honors class and I pushed her into taking the class. 
She didn't want to do it. And she basically begged me not to take the class because she didn't think she could do it. But I believed in her and signed her up for it. Ugh, piss off. Oh, my God. <laughs> Ridiculous. She's literally telling you, I don't think I can handle it. So we're like, in yeah. the fucking around part. Yeah. We're going to start finding out soon. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Throughout this year, she has gotten grade 70 and lower because she is not putting in any effort. Yeah. That's the reason. Yeah. Yep. She would come home, study for no more than 30 minutes, play on her phone or Xbox, eat, and then go to sleep. How dare she eat? Yeah, why are you, why are you putting eating? why are you putting eating on there? Yeah, she's wait. playing and eating. She's trying That's to relax. That's not okay. That's, yeah, she should be studying. You probably stressed her out with the honors class. Yeah, yeah. Back Jesus. in February, I decided to get her permit, and she had been getting ready to go for the test when I got an email from her teacher telling me her grade was a sixty-two percent. I got pissed, and as soon as she got out of the shower, we had a yelling match. Cool. I asked her why her grade was so low, and she used the excuse she had a lot going on and that she was trying. I sent her back to her room and stripped away all entertainment and electronics until she was done with all of her schoolwork. Even after two weeks, her grade never went up. Still, she had nothing. She would just stay in her rook, even after finishing her work, and just sleep. I, it sounds like you gotta go back to school. I excused yeah. her behavior at first for a breakup she was going through and bullying, but even after no improvement, I set up a meeting with her teacher and my ex-wife, her mother. After talking, we decided tutoring was for the best option. My daughter left the meeting crying and even after school remained mad at me. We got into another argument after she gave me attitude. She went with her mom that weekend and did get the grade up to 75%, but I still wanted her to take the tutoring. I got an email from her principal saying she had skipped her first session and wanted to drop out of tutoring. I text my daughter that she was the child and I was the adult. Uh. And she does not get to make the decision for dropping out. She texts me back telling me she went to her teacher to study for her test. That's why she skipped. Again, she was making excuses for not succeeding. She literally went to the teacher though. That's... She's trying. She did get the issue fixed, but I was still mad when she got home. So I told her to leave. She ended up getting her mom to pick her up and created a sob story where she was the victim. I'm now getting angry texts from her mother and grandmother about how I'm an asshole, but I just want what's best for my baby girl. So am I the asshole? Yes. Uh, I just want to check the ages. I So I'm the, the adult. Yeah. She's the child. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right. She's somehow making, she's able to make up a sob story where she's the victim and she is 16 years old. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, what a she's manipulative. She's so manipulative. Yeah. Go fuck yourself, man. Jesus. Am I the <laughs> asshole for stealing my child's birthday money? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, oh, this is whoa. a good one. Wait, hold on. Let's hear hold them on. out. Let's, Let's hear, hear them out. out all right. Yeah. Jesus. Last week, it was my 36 male son's 10th birthday. Too young to steal. <laughs> Too young to steal from your son. Yeah. Wow. We threw, or, I'm sorry, steal. We threw yeah. a big party for him with lots of extended family on both sides. Both me and my ex wife. Huh. Uh, 35 female of very large families, and since my son is older now, I instructed them to gift money rather than lots of toys that he wouldn't use. <laughs> well, I also thought this would be a good learning opportunity to teach him about financial responsibility. He's 10. <laughs> He's not going to learn shit about financial. I'm 25. If you give me money, I'm going to look at you like... You just said, I, I asked you, uh, hey, do you want to make a frozen pizza that we have here? And then we we're like, let's order out a pizza. <laughs> <laughs> you were literally yeah, I'm just terrible like at that. money. <laughs> I'm bad at it. Uh, no one had any issue with this and all gave cash. The party went well. We all had a great time. And by the end of the day, my son had ended up with quite a lot of money. I told him the amount he had and he seemed really excited. We cleared up and I went to pay it into the bank for him. Side note. I'm a bit of a collector. Mm. I collect vintage cereal boxes and have done so since my early 20s. I have amassed quite the collection over the years and it is worth lots. I'm sure it is. I hope to use part of it to pay for my son's college tuition. Your cereal boxes? 
You, you spent you your, spent your entire twenties you, collecting cardboard boxes. Hold on, boxes? I'm sorry. You stole money so you can buy a cereal fucking box, nineteen fifties blueberry fucking oops all box. berries box. <laughs> you think there's one that's oops all boobs? Yeah, that's a misprint, and that's like that that, that's actually worth money. You could pick that. I would buy. Yeah. That evening, I stumbled across a 1963 Post Toasties cornflakes box, which would complete. This can't be real. Wow. Let's go. Let's go. Come this on, keep it going. Keep idea. it going. That evening, I stumbled across a 1963 Post Toasties cornflakes box, which would complete my 90 my 63 core collection. It was one I'd been after for a while, but I had never been able to buy before so naturally i was very excited the price was just over the amount my son was given for his birthday i thought it over and given that this would complete a major aspect of my collection it would boost the value as a whole i decided to kill two birds with one stone by using this to teach my son about investment and also provide for his future i told my son i had something to show him and called him into my office called your son into your office do you also call yourself an investor do you also call your son an employee yeah. <laughs> Son, you got written up for HR by, uh, for pooping in your pants. Yeah. Like, what? Okay. I, ex I explained that this box is going to go up in value and would pay for his college one day, his birthday present this year. I bought the box and he thanked me. A couple of days later, I received a phone call from my ex asking for some of the birthday money. Apparently, my son had asked for a large Lego set. When I explained that there was no money left and my son knew this, she was furious and is now accusing me of stealing my son's money. I don't think I've done anything wrong as I was just providing for my son and teaching him important life lessons. But am I the asshole? Yeah. Am I wrong for not telling my little sister she is wrong? Ooh, okay. All right. My nine-year-old female little sister is being brought up in a religious household. Little bit of backstory. She isn't my real little sister. She is my mom's boyfriend's kid and I have known her since she was four. Well, she likes to come to me telling when she meets a person and their religious beliefs and their sexual orientation, too. And usually she says she is okay with it. Well, today she wanted to watch a drag queen, Trixie Mattel, do their makeup. And in one of the videos, she said she is a gay. So Trixie Mattel said she is a gay. Okay. All right. Um, now, my sister knows that Trixie was a male. So she put two and two together and said... He shouldn't have said that. God didn't make people gay. That's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. My first thought was to sit down and tell her how she was wrong and how invalidating it was to say. But I decided to say, I'll tell you when you get older. I won't go against what your parents say. I don't raise her. I'm not with her 24-7. And we have a family connection. And I don't want that to stop just because I've overstepped a potential boundary. On the other hand, I remember being nine and learning a little bit about the LGBTQ plus community and had friends along with myself being a part of it. What should I do in this situation? Ooh, okay. <laughs> I, honestly, I think you should tell the nine-year-old that it's okay to be gay. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think you can. 